What is going on, all of you amazing gamers out there in the world? I am Mega Amster. Thank you for watching this video. Whether you are a new or returning viewer, always great to see people here watching, interacting. Always appreciate it. And I'm very excited for this. This is my PAX East 2024 travel vlog. Now, last year, 2023, was my first time going. I only went on the Saturday. Um, this year, I'm going on both the Saturday and the Sunday. So hopefully, I'll have footage for both days going on. Um, just going into it, I'm just trying to set some goals. Compared to last year, I got to check out one demo, which was Amina the Hollower. I don't know if they're going to be there again this year. Um, but I do want to check out more game demos this year, especially because I'll have two days to do it. Um, definitely ones in particular I'm looking forward to. I mean, the Shadows of the Damned Remastered. I would love to go check out that booth and that demo. If Mina the Hollower is there again this year, I don't know if it is. Um, I might check that out as well and just maybe peruse a bit, see what's up, maybe get some more merch, you know, go to, go to some different panels. Um, we'll see if I can catch the uh, the Bioshop Infinite, the Barbershop Quartet again this year. That would be really cool. Um, just kind of explore, you know, see what's around and uh, find some new experiences somewhat. Um, so let's uh, get on with it with the first day of PAX East. Start the game. Remember, kids, always drive the speed limit in a school zone. Unless you're cool like me and you know how to drive a really fast motorcycle, then just don't crash. We have made it off the train. We are heading towards the convention center. I got Dylan with me. Very cold and windy. It's a good, good day to start our PAX journey. Let's head over to the convention center. We have made it. Oh yeah, this looks more crowded than last year. We have made it. There's the Pokemon. Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail, very nice. I see, yeah, there's Atari over there. What else we got? Definitely a lot of Mountain Dew. Very nice. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. We're gonna have to check this thing out. Look at the TV. Go to TV. Go give it a hug. Got some merch. Retro gaming over here, very nice. Very nice. You'll love to see it. Might snag some shirts, we'll see. Aver Media, oh, they got a new anime waifu, very nice, very nice. Got Animal Well over there. I see Path of Exile. Very cool, very cool. Got all the schools. Got me the goat. He's here. Oh, there's Limited Run over there. Very nice. Very cool. Get into the tabletop section a little bit here. Very crowded over here. There's lots of cool stuff. Look at that helmet. Dylan, you want that helmet? You want that helmet right there? Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. What happened to Uncle Sam? Showing off Tekken 8 over there on the screens. Evil shadows. Ooh, Dylan mystery grab bags. Very cool. More tabletop stuff it looks like. I'm glad they have a lot of tables for this kind of stuff. Four check and eight. Got some food trucks. Might be stopping here later. Some big snacks, some big snacks there. Oh, there's the PC area, like you were saying. Yeah. Very cool. Very nice. How about some really some potato shreds? No. I want to see. Well, I just want to see what it looks like from here. Is that it? Oh yeah, they got the bar. The grasshop bar. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, what we got, Dylan? Ooh, they got doormats. Johnny doormats. Welcome to the dog side. What else we got? What kind of amiibo we got over here? They have Sephiroth. No 
Wood Mio, very nice. A lot of the Fire Emblem ones too. Oh, is that the Monster Hunter Stories one? Very cool. Got myself a couple of Mebo here. Chicken Police, Star Vaders, cool stuff. Showing off the new FF14 expansion. Very tropical, very nice, very nice. Yeah, look at that Dylan. Flaming Rainbow Hawk. Very nice. What is that one over there? Oh, is that Baldur's Gate? Oh yeah. That's the Larian yeah. Studios booth. Very cool. Yes, a lot of cool. Look at those props there. That's super cool. Yo, you want to do it up? Do it up, bro. Pokemon through the years. They got Sonic roll over the tabletop section. Very nice. They also got the Mega Man one, I think. Yeah, Mega Man Adventures. Very cool. Dylan Japanime. So many white food. Sushi boat. I think it is. It's kind of funny. Oh, yeah? Are there any particular you want to look for? It? No. They have a discount. Pre-owned, used, dig and dent, sun faded, sun bleached. So we should definitely check outside to see if the actual food's there, because these might just be like snack foods, but... Tekken 8 is loud. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. You think that one guy's like playing Tekken 8 on his phone? Yeah. Yeah. They put it on a phone. Oh yeah, look at that thing sticking right up there. That's for the Twitch stream, I'm guessing, right? The stream, like on Twitch? Yeah. Sure, look at that. That's for that. Good job. Good job. Go ahead, kid. Oh, I love those, I love those glasses. Oh, this is, um, this is pack nine. I've played this one before. I don't know if we ever played this one. Did we? Okay. Got the orange chicken. See how this is. You'll know when you're dying, my boy. You need to eject. If you don't eject, how many of us have played? Just got out of the SEAL Battalion room. Dylan, not a fan of SEAL Battalion. Big mech guy over here, not a big uh, SEAL Battalion fan, it turns out. So, it's all good. Can't love every mech game, Dylan. Go check out Brigadoor and Speed. Yeah, it's definitely packing. 1 p.m. Eastern at PAX East. Pack at the Pokemon booth. Nintendo somewhere over there. I think we're heading over to the Grass Hop Bar next. See if we can play some Shadows of the Damned. Chill with Suda. Should be fun. Killer clowns from outer space. Very nice. We have made it to the Shadows of the Damned. They got the cool key art over there. Might get to check out some of the demo. Just got out of the Shadows of the Damned remastered demo. Very fun stuff. Look at that pin. Very nice pin there. It's definitely recommend. Coming out later this year, I believe, on almost everything. I think it was just announced for Switch. Go check it out. The PAX Rising Showcase. Yeah, I imagine it's like smaller indie stuff. <laughs> Are you a big boy boxer, Dylan? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. We're waiting in line in the main theater for the Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty panel. <laughs> Should be some uh, interesting stuff going on. Let's check it out. Definitely filled up quite a bit here. Ooh, look at those lights. Beautiful. Yo, what's up? Welcome to the Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty PAX East panel. PAX, how are you guys doing? More than that, I need more energy. Pax, how are you guys doing? Yeah! There we go, there we go. There we go. Listen. Um, it, it feels great. Like, it was, I, I tell you, as we're leading up to launch, um, we were nervous. Yeah. For sure. Um, we kind of stuck to our guns about, like, feeling like the, the kind of right decisions we wanted to make, what we wanted to expand, what we wanted to do with 2.0 and Phantom Liberty. If you can go back, is there anything that you would change about the game? 
<laughs> well, I mean, uh, as creators, we, we kind of always feel like this. Yeah. When I was talking to Idris, I was actually telling him how much we have been studying his face. Because the thing is that he has, he is playing in a very specific way, and his facial poses are the ones that we couldn't really fully recreate using our rig that we had in a given time. And there's two things that are like identified by our animators that are like really iconic and important for his face. And there's, it's his left lid that is slightly slower than the right lid and is slightly lower as well. And second thing is his frown between his eyes, the frown. And getting that frown right was really the moment when that face really started looking like him. There's only one way to top it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Keanu. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> one more thing, though. We want to take a picture with the audience. Right? We want to take a picture with the cyberpunk uh, community, and so we're going to have somebody come out. Uh, I want you guys to stand up. Let's position ourselves. We, are. we have officially been inaugurated into the cyberpunk community. They have accepted us. Pretty good panel, pretty solid panel. We're going to go check out the uh, Bioshock Infinite Quartet, so I'm looking forward to that. Let's go check it out. Yeah, we may have made it in just in time for the Bioshock Infinite performance. Very end of the line here. Let's see how it is. First packs. Be honest. Oh, okay. Ugh, day one of packs done. We got one more left, but uh oh, I think that convention mood's getting to me. Shit! I need a toilet. Day two of PAX, we are here in the beautiful city of Boston. It's a little chillier out today. Luckily, it's not raining, thankfully. That makes it a lot easier to get in. Um, the crowd is, it's like 9.30, so it hasn't opened up yet. So like a half an hour, I'm gonna grab a quick coffee before heading in, because it's so cold out. Uh, we'll see, definitely curious to check out the crowd today, because I've never been on a Sunday, so let's go check it out. Setting up the show floor. 
We've got a few minutes till we can actually get into the expo hall, but it is starting to look set up. Early Sunday morning show floor. Not quite packed yet, we'll see later. Just getting back from the Inti Creates booth, checked out a quick demo of their game Umbra Claw. You play as a cat, pretty fun. You dodge stuff to uh, fill up your boost meter and you do some crazy like lion attacks. Pretty fun, really love the art style. Uh, go check it out from Inti Creates again, Umbra Claw if you're interested. Dude is a very popular guy today. He's got an interview at 10.30. I can't seem to get a photo with him just yet. I'll head over in like maybe an hour or so and see if I can snag one in there. One hour later. Very happy, got to check out the Fallen Aces demo. Got myself a little pin there. Um, really fun, kind of boomer shooter type of game. Cell shaded, really cool. Um, from New Blood, definitely check them out if you're interested. I don't know when it's out, but maybe it's already out right now. I have no idea. Um, also, finally got to meet Suda. Just kind of uh, say thanks for all the games he's made. Got to take a photo, which I'm super ecstatic about. That was the dream goal, so we did that. Probably gonna grab lunch, maybe check out some other stuff. Let's go do that. My final demo of PAX East, just a cute little 3D platformer by two guys uh, called the Corgi's Cozy Hike. Very fun 3D platformer, kind of open world exploration if you're into that. I think they said they're targeting release in late August, so feel free to check that out. Wishlist it on Steam. I think it's only Steam right now, but uh, definitely check it out. One last look at the expo hall. About to head back to the train station. Goodbye PAX, another year in the books. Forgot to shout out Kess. Check them out earlier. Of course, the makers of Sonic Roll. Check out their Mega Man game, it looks pretty fun, but shout out to them. The rest of the tabletop area. Definitely got to check out a little more of that this year, which is super cool, so one last look. What is going on everyone i am back from pax on the second day now it is finally over um just general thoughts i know you saw some of the stuff i did um really had a blast this year i really did this was my second year just to clarify last year i only went the saturday this year i went both saturday and sunday and i gotta say i think i enjoyed sunday today more because i mean there was just a few things going against uh the saturday thing i a lot of the stuff that i did i really enjoyed um got to go to the bioshop Infinite Performance again, um, played some Seal Battalion, just kind of walked around, bought some Amiibo, some merch and stuff. Um, it kind of felt like a bit of a repeat of last year. Um, I was also kind of showing the ropes to one of my friends who had been there for the first time. Um, so that was part of it. But also just like the weather was kind of iffy. That the, the walk to and from the train station was brutal. Um, 
yesterday for sure on Saturday because of the rain and everything. It was, it was pretty pretty nasty weather. When you're inside, the convention was totally fine, but definitely had a fun time, but I definitely got to take things at more at my own pace today on Sunday, which was really nice. Um, meet up with some other friends as well, but also, I mean, I only got to check out the one demo being Shadows of the Damned remastered on Saturday, but uh, on Sunday today, I got to check out three other game demos, um, being the Fallen Aces one from New Blood, um, the Corgi's Cozy Hike from, uh, oh, I forgot the studio's name, it's, it's somewhere on Steam, I'll try to leave a link in the description below, and um, so, oh, Umbra, Umbra Claw from Inti Creates. Um, I kind of did this thing. It, it, it started off, it wasn't intentional at first, but I ended up just getting pins from uh, from everyone that I, from every game demo I did. So I got the four this year, which that was my goal this year. My main goal was to do more game demos. I only, as far as I remember, did the Mean of the Hollower demo from uh, demo from Yacht Club, Club Games in 2023. And this year, definitely did more. And in the future, I think I definitely want to do the two days more because like, it's nice to have some time for scheduled stuff like the cyberpunk panel, like the Bioshock uh, Infinite uh, performance. But like also, it was kind of nice to just take things easy a little bit and just scope things out. I mean, of course, getting the photo of Suda and the Grasshopper team was awesome. But like um, just being able to like kind of do some scheduled stuff, but also take things at my own pace, stop by and just chat with people. Like when I talked to the cast people for the uh, Sonic Roll and Mega Man Adventures board game. Like, stuff like that. Or I, It was honestly really nice, the Corgi's Cozy Hike demo, just to chat with literally the two developers, uh, the, the programmer and the artist, just for a little bit, just to talk to them about how they've been developing the game and, like, give some feedback and, like, what their difficulties and stuff like that. But, like, that was super cool. Um, and, like, definitely the panel that I went to this year was so much better, so much better organized. Um, really, I definitely, overall, I had a better time just because the two days really seems right for me. Would I want to go all four? Probably not. I feel like that might be a bit too much for me personally, but the two days was honestly really nice to kind of spread some things out and get some time to actually play some games and check out different booths too. So um, definitely had a really fun time this year. Shout out to everybody who actually recognized my costume. I was kind of surprised. Um, got a couple of photos of different people. And then like even some of the people I went up to with the booths were like, oh, you're that guy from No More Heroes, right? I'm like, yeah. Of course, like the people at Grasshopper recognized me, which was super cool um, how that all worked out. But yeah, no, definitely uh, had a lot of fun at PAX this year and can't wait for next year now. But uh, let me know in the thoughts, uh, your thoughts in the comments below. If you went to PAX, was there something else that you really enjoyed? Or if you didn't go, you know, maybe are you going to consider going in future years? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will catch you all on the next video or live stream. And until then, take care, stay cool, downward effing dog. We'll see you later.